लाइफ सैकल ऑफ स्पायरोगैरा स्पायरोगैरा इज वन ऑफ द कॉमनेस्ट फ्रेश वाटर ब्राइट ग्रीन अलगी इट इज वर्ल्ड वाइड इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट ग्रोज एज फ्री फ्लोटिंग extensive masses it occurs in still water of fresh water ponds pools lakes ditches and also it is uh, observed in slow flowing streams because of its slippery feel of the filament which is due to micellar outer micellaginous layer spirogara is called as a pond scum or pond silk or water silk Spirogyrogenus includes about 300 species. It is universal in distribution and are relatively rare in tropical regions of the world. now systematic position with reasons or classification of the spirogyra so group algae some of the characters of group algae in which this spirogyra is chlorophyll bearing organism that is photosynthetic plant body is thallus like sex organs are one celled and that is why group algae division chlorophyta so some of the reasons grass green in color because of presence of chlorophyll a chlorophyll b carotenoid and xanthophylls pigments are localized in chloroplast with pyrenoids starch is reserve food therefore division chlorophyta and class chlorophyce so reasons are same as that of division group algae division chlorophyta class chlorophyce and this spirogyra belongs to order zygnimetals also called as a conjugals so some characters or uh, some characteristic features of this group plant body is simple filamentous and grows only in fresh water motile phase is lacking in the life cycle sexual reproduction takes place by conjugation of two amoeboid gametes family zygnimetaceae distinguishing characters of family zygnimetaceae plant body simple unbranched and filamentous cells are in attached end to end forming unbranched filament cells are with ribbon shaped parietal single or two chloroplast and 
lastly genus in the classification genus is spirogyra one to several ribbon like chloroplast are located in parietal position and uh, conjugation tube is produced during sexual fusion these two characters confirms that genus is spirogyra so like this in classification we have seen group algae division chlorophyta class chlorophyci order zygnemetals family zygnemetaceae and genus spirogyra now habit of the spirogyra and habitat of the spirogyra spirogyra appears in abundance during and after rain it thrives well throughout year it prefers to grow in cold season and little rise in temperature favors its reproduction plant body or thallus is long green cylindrical unbranched thread like it is several centimeter in length it is hair like unattached and hence often called a filament these filaments usually occur as free floating masses which are tangled and shiny habitat of the spirogyra it occurs in still water ponds lakes pools ditches as submerged or free floating filaments forming floating masses structure of thallus see here in this diagrammatic figure you can see the vegetative filament here and an enlarged cell near to this so spirogyra plant body or thallus it consists of slender unbranched filament so this is slender unbranched filament these filaments they are uh, several centimeters long young filaments are found at young filaments they are found attached to the substratum by a modified cell called as hold fast so see here this modified cell it is called as a hold fast also called as a hepteron h a p t e r o n hold fast cell is colorless and may be lobed normally filaments are free living free floating and slimy each filament consists of few hundred similar cells placed end to end in a single row thus the filament is differentiated into base and apex structure of a typical cell a single cell of the filament you can see over here so here you can see a typical cell of spirogyra 
cells of filaments are cylindrical and with transverse end walls they are several times longer than their breadth see it is its length and this is the breadth so they are several times longer than their breadth a typical cell of spirogyra filament it consists of two parts cell wall and protoplast S cell wall see this is cell wall so this all cell wall so related with cell wall it is firm two layer inner layer is composed of cellulose while outer layer is of pectic substances the inner cellulose layer forms a complete envelope around the protoplast outer pectic layer dissolves in water and forms a slimy sheath this micellar sheath is sometimes referred to as third layer of the cell wall which makes the filaments slippery to touch the cross wall is three layered there is middle septum of the lamella of pectus with primary wall with cellulose layers on either side the cell wall surrounds protoplast it is protective in function now protoplast it is differentiated into plasma membrane and chloroplast nucleus chloroplast with pyrenoid and a large central vacuole so these things they are there in the protoplast plasma membrane it is a surrounding membrane it surrounds the cytoplasm and it is inside the cell wall chloroplast see here chloroplast so this is chloroplast see chloroplast so chloroplast is embedded in the cytoplasm and uh, is parietal in position chloroplast or ribbon like and for forming spirals spiral may be either narrow with smooth margin or broad spiral spirals running in anti clockwise direction from one end of the cell to the other spiral chloroplast is a feature from which the genus is given name as a spirogyra one of the dominant feature of identification the number of chloroplast is also a characteristic feature of this alga 
pyrenoids see here pyrenoids so these uh, are small spherical rounded bodies they are dense and highly refractive proteinaceous bodies and their number varies from 1 to 16 now nucleus see this is nucleus single large with distinct nucleolus central vacuole cytoplasm encloses large central vacuole filled with cell sap and this sap is rich with tannins and other organic and inorganic compounds so structure of cell we have seen so after that we will go towards the reproduction how it occur in spirogyra so spirogyra reproduces vegetatively and sexually her sexual reproduction is rare vegetative reproduction fragmentation is the common method fragments filament gets fragmented each fragment develops into spirogyra accidental breaking or injury divide the filament into pieces or portions each such portion or fragment germinates to produce a new plant by cell division and growth her sexual reproduction how it take place that we will see erkinets by formation of erkinets so erkinets they are developed from cell due to laying down of thick and uh, lamellate wall on the original wall of the cell such erkinets they may occur in chain so this is erkinet this is second one this is third one so they may occur in chain Erkinets are actually resting spores with abundant food reserve. Such spores they germinate and give rise to the new filament. A planospore. So here you can see this is the a planospore. So a planospores they develop from protoplast of cell. protoplast contracts rounds up see here contracting of protoplast and taking the round shape so protoplast contracts rounds up at the center such structures develop a wall around to form a spore so these are planospores may be released only on decay of parent cells and they germinate to form new filament then 
parthenospores sometimes gametes fail to fuse due to some mechanical physiological reasons such gametes develop their independent thick wall this structure gives rise to spores called as a parthenospores or also called as a ozygospore so here you can see the thing so this is all related with the asexual reproduction now the things related with the sexual reproduction sexual reproduction takes place by the process named as a conjugation in which amoeboid gametes they are involved the gametes are morphologically identical call them as isogametes isogamous conjugation is very primitive method of conjugation means the conjugation between two similar or identical morphologically identical gametes in many species conjugation takes place at definite time in a year particularly in between the months of february and june so this process of conjugation is of two types one scalary form conjugation conjugation that is ladder like and lateral conjugation that is chain like so for the first scalary form see here scalary form or ladder like conjugation it is uh, of common occurrence this type of uh, conjugation scalary form so here participation of two filaments this type of conjugation it occurs during night and between opposite cells of two neighboring filaments this is one and this is another neighboring filament so in between these two the conjugation bridge it is formed and uh, reproduction takes place see here ladder like structure so there is fusion between male gamete and female gamete through the conjugation tube now lateral or chain like conjugation it takes place between adjacent cells of the same filament so lateral or chain like conjugation it is of two types indirect or terminal lateral conjugation 
so here you can see indirect or terminal lateral conjugation so it is of rare occurrence it occurs in between two adjacent cells see here this is one cell and this is another adjacent cell two adjacent cells of the same filament they are involved in the conjugation therefore such plants are bisexual monoecious so here during this conjugation papilla like outgrowth see here this is papilla like outgrowth it is formed in the transverse septum in further course of development it breaks and forms a side passages between the two cells see like this side passage between the two cells exactly here of these the upper cell behaves as a male gam male gamete angium and the lower one as female gamete angium through this side passage male gamete passes and fuses with female gamete as a result of this zygospore is formed see here formation of zygospore this conjugation is also called as a chain conjugation now direct lateral conjugation so a younger algologist or phycologist reported this type of conjugation in spirogyra jogensis in this type of conjugation filaments are attached to the substratum by the hold fast cell lateral conjugation occurs between two cells situated just above the basal cell this is the basal cell so just above basal cell two cells they take part in the process of conjugation during this process female cell becomes rounded but male cell remains without any change in its shape see this is male cell lower cell becomes rounded in shape somewhat rounded in shape cell next to basal cell considered it as a female cell so near to basal cell considered it as a female cell the protoplast of male cell becomes somewhat conical on the side next to female cell it starts pressing against the septum the protoplast of male cell shrinks the conical end of the male gamete becomes elongated and rod shaped it gradually presses more and more against the septum finally the contents of male gamete pass into the female gamete angium so like this the changes they occur and content goes to the female gamete angium the perforation in the middle of the septum uh, is responsible for transfer of 
the contents of male gamete in the female. Now germination of zygospore, the form zygospore as a result of conjugation fusion product that is the zygospore it is formed it gets surrounded by three layer thick wall it is highly resistant to extreme cold and drought during germination diploid nucleus of the zygospore you can see the events here diploid nucleus of zygospore undergoes meiosis forming four haploid nuclei three of which degenerate one remains functional in meantime two outermost layers of zygospore wall rupture while innermost cellular layer emerges out in the form of cylindrical germ tube so like this cylindrical germ tube comes out this germ tube divides transversely into new two cell spirogyra filament this is one cell and this is second then multicellular filament development takes place due to successive divisions of the distal cell of the two cell filament upper cell gets divided and redivided by mitosis thus on germination of zygospore a new haploid spirogyra plant is formed